to Luna and Friends, the show where I try to prove that I actually have friends by making you hang out with them, even if you don't want to, against your own will. Uh, my first guest today is the lovely Damie, aka EQV04, over on the YouTube Worlds channel. How are you, Damie? I'm very well, thank you. That's How are good you, to Lena? Hear. Oh, I'm great, thanks, bro. <laughs> thanks, mate. Um, <laughs> so tell us a little bit about what you do over on EQV04. Uh, I make silly little vlogs and little skits, uh, as well as make some song covers and originals as well. Yeah, it's awesome. Really that's that's awesome. Um, I, I really liked your cover of Milkshake. Oh, thank you yeah, so much. Awesome. Thanks for doing that. But <laughs> <laughs> um, Okay, so I'll just skip right over to you, Steve. Tell us about your channel, Mr. Steve Stellarama okay, on YouTube. Uh, pretty much very similar sort of thing to Damien over here. I like to make a few... Uh, uh, songs and covers and things like that, put those up and awesome. also I like to make little 30 second skits about yeah. random ideas that I think of, put them into video and there they are. Well there you go, that's mm -hmm. pretty much you guys in a nutshell. Uh, I thought that uh, seeing as you guys both sometimes make rants, and I do too, oh, we yeah. have a little, yeah, we good old ranty rant. on the YouTubes, um, I thought we could start off with a little rant together. And the yeah. first topic I sort of thought we would do is something called, why do people do that? And it is basically about, uh, you know, why people annoy you and what yeah. people and do in everyday life. People. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, I don't know, any of you guys want to start, Damie? I reckon I just want to know, why do people feel the need to annoy me when they go into the cinema yeah. and they go behind me with their 50 kids and a crying baby <laughs> and they're just making, like, the most ridiculous oh noises and they kick in the seat, like, yeah. constantly? It's like, they nah. just, have you ever got that? I want to have an M, can I get something from the slushy thing? And Preach, just like, no. I just got you an ice cream. Eat it. <laughs> and you're just like, I want to watch this movie. Like, exactly. Oh, no. Exactly. I, totally pet peeve of mine. And I also mm. hate, like, when you're in a rush, like when you're a rush to get to the movie, for example, oh. and you're on your way there and everyone else is just in, like, slow motion. Like, no. they're just chilling out and, like, you're walking behind someone and they, you, you know, carrying all your popcorn and stuff and they just stop right in front of you. And you're like, yeah. dude, excuse me. Like, and they see yeah. a bee on a flower and it's like, <gasps> Instagram. And they just get in real close and they're like, click. And you're just like, come on, dude. You're like, time to pick a filter. And they just they swap take their sweet time. Get out of the way. You're trying to like, get yeah. around them. Yeah, no, <laughs> totally know how you feel. Mm. Uh, and, and we all work in retail. We've all worked in retail. Yes. Yes, yeah? yes that's yeah. correct. Any crazy customers uh, as a next crazy. topic? Something that I deal with every single day is just the indecisive part of people. Uh, so, you want to buy a computer? Yes, I do. What kind of money do you want to spend? Mm, don't know. Do you know what you want to be doing on your computer? Really don't know. Okay, well, let's get you started with the basic one right here. This is probably what you should buy. You know what? I'm going to speak to my technology husband. And I'm going to come back to you because he does computers. Okay? <laughs> he does computers. Like, he does computers. <laughs> computers. And I'm just like, oh, human. Oh, human. Oh, human. human. What about you, Damien? <laughs> You guys sell chicken, hey? Yeah, we do <laughs> sell chicken, and chicken only. We're a very well-known fast food restaurant, yeah. and you, you'd be surprised how <laughs> ridiculous people will come up to me and ask, do you guys sell dim sims? And I'm like, no, no, <laughs> we, we just sell chicken. Some people it's ask, do you sell the same fish? Culture. <laughs> it's not, it's not. Someone's like, oh, do you sell fish? Fish. Really? Fish? Uh, really? Do they not know what the name of the store is? Well, oh. I'll just get the combo there. Uh, I'll get the potatoes. And can I get that um, dim sim? Yeah. <laughs> it's Do like, you what? Sell power drills? Read the menus. Yeah, <laughs> yeah people need to read the menu, I reckon. Here's my oh. shopping list. Just just do as best you can. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. No, I, I've had like, I used to work in a place where I had to sell handbags and mm. this guy came in shopping for his wife and he was like... For his he wife. Did, for, his, for his wife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he did the whole like Borat thing where he went up to each bag and he pointed to it and he's like, is this leather? <laughs> and I'd be like, yes, that's leather. And is this leather? <laughs> and I'm like, yes, that's also leather. In fact, that whole section you're looking at right there is leather. Underneath. <laughs> Is this sign. leather? <laughs> oh, yeah, leather. exactly. The sign says leather, and you just keep going and going for it. I'm like, oh, from here to here, it's leather. <laughs> That's enough. Can you stop oh, that? <laughs> All right. Well, I, I mean, I've had enough of hearing about annoying customers. So um, I'm going to, I think we need day. some counselling. I feel like we need I've, some. I'm going to counsel yeah. you guys over yeah, the break. Please do. So uh, we'll be right back after this. <laughs> my friends Damie and Steve-O and we're gonna play a game with you right now. This game here is called Sell the Unsellable. I hope you guys are up for this. Basically mm. what I've got is a hat full of topics and what we're gonna do is you know pick out a topic and the, the topics are like random things you probably couldn't sell. Like products. Yeah, yeah products, probably. topics, 
categories, things. all those kinds of things. Um, now, <laughs> Phil, I should let you know beforehand, if you pick a topic out and you don't think you like it, you can pass it on to another player and they have yeah. to do right. it, okay? So, uh, I'm just going to start off with you, Stilevin. Oh, righty, <laughs> uh, You've got 30 seconds to sell this item, mind you. So, we'll get the timer up on the clock. What have we got there? Bottled air. It's the best kind of air. <laughs> All right, <laughs> the ad started already. Let's get the timer up. Okay. And your 30 seconds starts <coughs> now. Okay. Have you ever woken up in the morning and say, mm, the oxygen around me today is just absolutely disgusting. I need something purified, <laughs> something in the form of a bottle. Well, ladies and gentlemen, have I got the product for you. Bottled air, now completely free at Coles. Big W, other uh, various Australian retailers. It is 100% purified. It's small. It's, you can fit it in your pocket. It's pocket sized. You can take it in and out. You breathe it in. It purifies natural. Opens the pores. Lets you breathe. Mm. Three easy installments. You can get it in a package format. But here's the catch. It's completely imaginary. Don't buy it. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I actually so want, I want some bottled air now. Yeah. now how are we gonna? How are we gonna beat that? Oh my God. Yeah, All right. We're not Jamie, do you think to you're ready for a challenge? Real not really. I'm just gonna <laughs> throw you <laughs> under the bus here. Just throw me there. Yeah, Lucky hat. Oh pick my god. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got there? Oh, I have this Bricks one. Bricks as airbags. <laughs> All right, let's get your 30 <laughs> seconds up on the clock. Are you ready to sell this? Very not, but I'm let's see if Ling Ling is. And so. your 30 <laughs> seconds starts now. Oh, wouldn't you like to have a nice flat face <laughs> like me, honey? <laughs> you see this nice model cheerleader, honey? This is because I get an accident so many times, honey. I don't know how to drive that yeah, you shouldn't have been gonna get huh? <laughs> okay, so then when you get the brick in your face, it's okay because you look like me after. And that's the real that's the real thing here, honey. You want like smooth complexion yeah, or something? How much really is it? Yeah, it's how much? Get me involved. Kinda darling, I'll get you it's usually fifty dollar, but it's actually not enough. <laughs> 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 Charge me 200%. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm good. Right, I'm sorry. I'm going to go. I'll right. hold the hat for you, honey. Okay. Right, right. <laughs> okay, what have we got here? So, how you sell yeah. at your other work? Oh, I forgot. Oh, oh, oh. No, oh. oh. Boganism. Am it, I going to sell boganism? Is it boganism? Or boganism. <laughs> boganism. All right. Okay, here we go. I've got my 30 seconds up. And my time starts now. Are you sick and tired of talking with such a polite accent all the time? I know I am. I'm tired of my cup of tea and my dainty shoes and my dainty face and all the other dainty things. That's why I became a bloody bogan, mate. I freaking slate, mate. What you gotta do, mate, is you gotta wear a flanny all the time, mate. It's sick. And then what you gotta do is you go down to the pub with your mates and you get a VB and you skull it and then you smash it on your head. Make sure you get a can. Don't do that with a stubby. It'll break your face. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> that was, I don't know. That was amazing. <laughs> I didn't know that existed. All right, let's, uh, let's uh, try a celebrity challenge now. Celebrities. Mm. All right. Celebrity challenge. So it's basically the same celeb? thing, mm -hmm. but you've just got to advertise as a celebrity. And okay. uh, I know you guys are really good at impressions, so I'm going to just, just it throw it out there, shuffle them around, have a good dig around in there. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is... What do you get, honey? <laughs> why, why a blackboard is better than an iPad? All right, okay. have fun with this one. Who are we, who are we meeting today? All right, you're probably going to meet a good friend of mine. I met him back in 1849 in uh, England. Uh, his name is Christopher Walken. Okay. Your time starts now. Okay. Are you bored of picking up technology every single day looking at it? The barriers, I'm trapped. I cannot use this piece of electricity is in my hand. It's spitting everywhere. You know what I need? I need a board, not just a board. I need a black board. I'm drowning in wires and charging and this. Give me some chalk. I need to write my name, Christopher Walken. Whenever I get up and use my blackboard, I walk away dancing, not walking. $50 at your local Bunnings. Oh bunnings. my god. I can't, I can't even think. Right. <laughs> Don't think, just buy. <laughs> Blackboard. I'm not mad for you. Great, Jamie, I'm going to throw straight to you because I'm going to cry. Yeah, no worries. All right, who's your, who's your character? Uh, my character is a celebrity off The Simpsons. I don't know if you guys... Who is it? Uh, his name's Apu. All right. The House of Pimpin' Yeah, the that class. What's your topic? My topic is a stitch <laughs> from running. How I... What? Okay, a stitch from running, all right. Here, your 30 seconds starts now. Sometimes when you're in the grocery store and you want to get a very nice piece of fruit, you have to run, but you don't want to run, do you? Because when you run, it's not going to feel good, but you want to, you want to feel good, don't you? So then why don't you buy a stitch? It is on the price menu, okay? You can have for you. How much is it? It's, don't even talk about the price to me. 
Okay. What are the benefits of having a stitch? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay because I'm trying to sell it to you, but you buy. It's okay. I, I just, I'm just going to buy it for the accent. You oh my God. All right, all right, let's get... I think, uh, I think some Arnie's in order. This is the lucky last one. Lucky last. <laughs> all right. We're, we're selling a gray's <laughs> knee. <laughs> <laughs> get the Let's get my 30 seconds. Give me my 30 seconds on the clock. I need to start now. Exercises. All right. Have you ever been running really fast and then you all of a sudden you fall down? You fall all the way down and then you graze your knee. It's the best thing you could ever do for yourself. You feel the blood is pumping through your muscles. Every time you fall, you get the, the good feeling. I know all the time. I don't know why this is beneficial. I don't even know what this accent is anymore. I uh, get to the chopper and take your gray knees from the chopper store. I, uh, I'll be back after this. <laughs> Wow. I don't know what just happened. That was fantastic. That was, that, that was the man that came out of me. I well, feel like I was speaking to the legendary Arnold Schwarzenegger. Did you? Yeah, I didn't feel like I was speaking to the governor amazing. Arnie either. I felt like yeah. I was like Commander, Predator, yeah. Rub your champion, Terminator. Mad, Terminator. you cannot see yeah. me. I'm here to governate you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I'll just throw to the ad. Throw to the break uh, with uh, the Arnie voice here. Uh, so if you haven't had enough uh, ad of advertising <laughs> from us, then uh, we will be back after these messages. that uh, add all up in your face. Uh, we had a little discussion yes. over the break and we decided we had one topic left that we really couldn't mm. leave behind. So we decided we we're gonna do a group celebrity sell of this particular item right here. It is the pre-loved underwear. I can show that to Let's the camera. Just, do that. just over here, <laughs> there you go, mate. Pre-loved underwear. And uh, we're gonna kick it off with Christopher Walken. We're doing our, so it's a full celebrity group thing. Mm. Okay. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. Let's a trio, a trice. Christopher Walken enjoys to wear. Okay, let's start from the top. When I wake up in the morning, I think, ooh, my buns, my buns are cold. I need something warm. I need something crisp, warm, pre-loved underwear. I know my friend Arnold Schwarzenegger, he likes his variety of colors. I, I love it. I love especially when I, I have to pull them down. I love that part, pulling <laughs> the them ground. down. What oh, about you, Apu? I really <laughs> like it when you put it down and then you put it up again. It's so good and comfortable in the crotch area. It's so beautiful and in there. And it's even warmer than before. So spicy like India where I'm from. <laughs> it's so good. Can we sell that to you guys? Yeah. Do you guys would you buy, buy that? Yeah, I would buy you that. The whole that. crew, Come they want to buy it. You well, buy you know it. what we did, Please guys? We uh, We got some <laughs> questions from the Twitter and Facebook family crowd all the their fans. lovely people the uh, so you guys up for some some questioning some interrogation just yeah. interrogate away all right yeah. so I'm gonna take the uh, first question here question number one comes from username spicy tuna roll and uh, he wants us to educate us Americans about drop bears so it's a very serious topic these yeah. drop bears mm. do you guys want to enlighten us well I think we were talking earlier and Damien actually had a family member that was yeah. eaten whole. Yeah, like the That's whole body duck. was gone. gone. Yeah. Did they he, like spit out shoes or like? No, bones? not even. Everything. No, but when they looked at the body, the neck was just. Ugh, it was yeah. all in ruins, and wow. I just. This I is a very morbid, very touchy. It's a very, I think it's very emotional. dark topic, but I mean, yeah. some words confronting. of warning, maybe. Some words of warning for any tourists Just that come to Australia about drop bears. What would you suggest? What would you recommend? Bring, bring an arsenal of weapons. Just think yeah. logically, think safe, knives, sharp things. Uh, <laughs> these drop bears are average height about nine feet tall. They will stop at nothing to eat you and all of your memories. Mm. If you don't know what uh, all of your memories <laughs> yeah, are, they're wow. just like, the, like you, a you crazy don't know what, straw. Uh, <laughs> mm. They will eat it through. If you don't the know what drop bears are, what they actually do is they look like koalas mm. and uh, they, you know, they primarily attack tourists. They just drop from the trees down yeah. onto you, attack you. So just be aware. We've actually got a whole website, you know, dedicated to drop bear awareness. So if you uh, if you're a little bit worried about coming to Australia and being attacked by drop bears, just head on over to that. I'm sure we will link you in somewhere. Um, <laughs> <laughs> question yes. number two just on our Twitter list: Alicia underscore Edwards would like to know. If you could have worked with any music artist, dead or alive, who would it be and why? Damie? My passion, actually my goal was, before he died, was Michael Jackson. I just love and adore him. I just think he's amazing and 
Just that moonwalk. Oh, it gets me damn. all the time. Like, <laughs> all the time. Damn, boy. It, and that, that voice is just... A, is it a moonwalk, though? Or is it like a backwards walk? <laughs> it's, it's a moonwalk. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's, I, it's, I mean, I, I watched yeah. the, the Apollo landings. And yeah, I know. And they did, like... That's exactly what they did, I'm pretty sure. What about you, Steve? Who would you like to work with? Uh, I would love to uh, probably work with Freddie Mercury from Queen if it was going to be someone who was no longer around. A legend. Yeah, absolute oh, wow. legend. And it uh, looks like he had a hell of a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> what have oh, I done? <laughs> but uh, no, it just seems like a really cool person. Amazing music, amazing performer. That's what I like about him. Yeah. Performing, yeah. he gets involved. Respect, I, I agree. See, I, I, uh, prim if I could work with any musician, purely for fangirl reasons, I'd probably <laughs> want to work with Def Leppard or, I don't know, maybe Winger, so I could just drool a little bit. But if I'm going <laughs> to be smart in this day and age, I want to get the views and the fans. Mm. Probably work with someone like I don't know Justin Bieber. Maybe some One Direction. Get, a get some One D. Get some One D. Yeah. Yeah. All I want is One D. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's how we do. <laughs> oh god. Moving oh god. Along. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm going to skip over to the fourth question we've got here from Liam Papa 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 Papa. Papa Papa. Pa, pa, pa. It's a great name. Uh, if you had to choose in order to save your life, which limb would you cut off? Ooh. I've thought about this previously. You, you have? I've thought about this previously, and I would spend all of my funds into producing another limb to come off of my other limbs, reroute whatever disease I had into that limb, and then cut it off. Wow. There you, you go. You have thought about that this. That is so technical. Dude, I was just going to be like, I'll just chop <laughs> off the leg that I don't use very often and maybe get a prosthetic. <laughs> Always wanted a prosthetic. Mm. No. The prosthetic moonwalker. Oh my god, that would be amazing. <laughs> Just drag one wow. leg limp behind you. <laughs> Anything to add to that, Damien, or you? Oh, I'd probably get rid of my whole arm. Like <laughs> I don't really, arm. I don't really need it, really. Like, what do you need? Which one? Arms? You, can get, you can get rid of fifty percent of both like, arms. What am I, I going to use with my? Okay, oh, Damien, you play guitar. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't I thought this through. Them. I actually haven't thought this through. I will move along to the next question. Yeah, question number. Do. <laughs> you do the, that. The sixth question, in fact, that we were given uh, from Nick Gibbons, and this may uh, apply to your hair your <laughs> it does actually apply to you okay. during this to you steve uh is a male who uses a hair straightener less of a man well dear oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear i'm there chappy boy chappy laddy last boy <laughs> i'm a man <laughs> a beautiful man <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't think it makes you any less of a man i think it just Makes you care about your appearance, mm. maybe just a smidge more. Yeah. <laughs> just a smidge. And you're worth it. Like, look at that. Oh. God damn. Yeah, people are like, what do you think, Jamie? It's from a girl's perspective. Do you from think it makes them less of a man if they use a hair straightener? Not at all. Well, after I that, you can't say that it would because yeah. you offend Steve. And yeah, true. <laughs> not <laughs> at all. I, I don't think. No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it's so fair. <funny. laughs> no, it doesn't, does it? Uh, does it now? <laughs> <laughs> the seventh question we were given here, uh, question number seven from Jacob Luz. Or loose, I don't know. Okay. It's up to him. Are you loose or a looser? Mm. Anyway, he's got some <laughs> awesome questions. Sorry, man. Uh, do ninjas get lonely? Do ninjas get lonely? Do, they, do you think that ninjas get lonely? This is like, I think they do. This is like more like sort of metaphorical questions. Mm. Do they get lonely if they fell over in the woods and no one was around with anyone here? Yeah, them? who's gonna pick them up? Well, like I really? I think with a ninja and what goes around is that you can't see them. They're actually invisible to the naked eye. They're that quick. Yeah. So mm. by the time they had somebody there to accompany them, they'd be in. You wouldn't a different know. part of the world. No one would ever know. Okay. Well, his second question from that particular question was, uh, are there robots in heaven? Ooh. This is a deep one. This goes deep. Do robots... Do, do they have do souls? They do they Can have they souls? fly there? I mean, just... Do robots have souls? It's do like the ginger question. Yeah. Do they have <laughs> souls? Gingers do have souls, but do robots have souls? I'd love to see a robot, like, ranting, like... We do have souls. We, we have souls. souls. Always you don't know me. Souls. You we are not God. Too. Yeah, you I are not God. Oh, yeah, thank you, Lark. Ooh, I'm so scared. Ooh. I could build you if <laughs> I wanted to. Me. All right, Larky, last question. Uh, it's another music-related one. It's question number eight here from Daniela Acosta. Uh, best part about writing songs? I... Oh, are we starting with me? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, who starting with me? First? I think the best part of writing a song... Um, is the story behind it and the experiences behind that piece of writing. Yeah. I just really like 
It was really meaningful. I agree. I, I feel like it's it's all about letting out all the feels. Yeah. <laughs> all, all of the feels. feels. All, of the all of them. Feels. Get yeah. them all out. Feels. Yeah. How do you feel? feel. About How do you feel? How else do I feel <laughs> about writing the song? <laughs> well, um, I, the, my favourite part of all is actually the when it starts to spawn life and it's like, man, that drum beat sounds sick with that guitar riff mm, and then yeah. you start grooving and it's like, okay, next thing. That's it's exciting. Yeah, it's, and it becomes your baby. It's the you, juices flowing, yeah. which is why I wear pre-owned underwear. <laughs> <laughs> hey, five ninety nine. <laughs> I feel like you have to, you know, you protect your little baby music song, and you don't yeah. want to show anyone. Yeah, it's a child. Don't. It's one of them. You really children. don't. And it's yeah, it's really just a cathartic thing to do. Well, uh, speaking of songs and writing songs, how would you guys feel about writing a song with me right now? Like that's on the spot. That's a wonderful wow. idea. Like, love wow, yeah, that'd be that'd be awesome. Um, and I don't know. Let's pick a random topic to sing about, what would you hair. want to sing about? Hair? I love yeah. hair. We all have, we all have, we all have, have hair, awesome hair, hair, purple, purple hair. hair. Okay. Like, it's well, so the only problem hair. is we need a guitar. Here's one I prepared earlier. Wow, all right. All Let's right. go Let's sing a song it. that all we've right. never sung before. Yeah. I think that would be fun times. Let's grab yeah. on the microphone. Oh, you grabbed that microphone. <laughs> Mine just tried to commit suicide. Oh, All right. <laughs> well, let's just hang out with me here. <laughs> Let, let's go, <laughs> Steve. <laughs> let's, let's rock it, Steve. All right. Oh, All break right. it down. We are now a band. Yeah. We are now a band. We are called The Hairs. The Hairs. The Multiple Hairs. is lacking volume and hairsprays yeah boys your short hair is not what i need i'm looking for a guy who looks like he comes from the 80s so don't cut your hair no no let it hang long like steve's hair which is over there don't cut, hair. don't cut your hair don't cut your hair Girl, yeah. When I walk down the street, yeah. I wanna see that main main. I want him to look like that guy whose name is Bane. Bane, Batman. but he has no hair. It doesn't matter if he doesn't even have hair, cause you know where he has other hair. Oh my god! <laughs> He's got that hair under his armpit. That's right. <laughs> Don't Woo! cut your hair. Don't cut your hair. Don't cut your hair. Don't wanna cut your hair. Don't Cut your hair, just let it grow long like Steven over there. Don't oh. cut your hair. Hey, Steven, do you know who else has long hair? Jesus has long hair. Jesus oh. has long hair. Jesus don't care. Jesus got hair. He got hair and it's everywhere. Don't cut your hair. The host doesn't want to cut his hair. No, I don't want to cut my hair. What about Brent Holland? He has short hair. That's boring. You want long hair. Or like like Jessica Porter. I think she has long hair. What about Harley McDermott? Does he have long hair? Not sure. I don't know. What, you, what about what about Luke or Marcus? But Nicole probably Nicole, has long hair. Nicole, Nicole, she's on it. What about Peter Hutchinson? Yeah, no, I don't know. Definitely Definitely don't cut your hair. You should have cut your hair, man. Should have cut that hair. Don't cut your hair, man. Don't ever cut your hair. I, I swear. If you cut your hair, we will drop a bear on you. Yeah, a drop a bear. A drop bear. Koala. Drop bears should be cut one. Their hair.